Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Kingdom Cash, Charles Dyson here, and I am super excited for this video. And um, I'm gonna be in this video showing you guys how to count Bitcoin pips, Bitcoin pips. Now, um, it took me a while to understand this, right? So I'm gonna break this down as simple as I possibly can. But I, uh, not too long ago, just got really interested in trading Bitcoin and boy <laughs> I wish I would have did it earlier right but it's okay uh, there's still a whole lot of opportunity in this market now this is a disclaimer this is way different than just trading a Forex pair Bitcoin has a mind of its own um, it, it, it does some weird stuff but <laughs> it's forgivable trust me any loss that I've taken on Bitcoin I forgave because there's so much money to be made. I'm going to actually show you guys um, how the money adds up on this pair. So um, just a warning. I, I strongly encourage you not to trade Bitcoin. Your, don't trade your Forex account and Bitcoin in the same account. I suggest you create a second trade account strictly for bitcoin now and some brokers don't allow you to trade bitcoin so you might have to go search for a totally different broker altogether i'll put my broker that i use in the actual comment section in the excuse me not the comment section the description box below it'll be the first link in the description box i'll put my broker that i use they allow bitcoin trading all right so if you're looking for a broker, I got one for you in the comment section. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break this thing down. And uh, like I said, don't trade Bitcoin and Forex in the same account because you'll be making money in Forex and then take one Bitcoin loss and it'll wipe out all the money you made in your Forex account. Just trust me on that. All right. So this is Bitcoin. Uh, I, uh, obviously, I use TradingView.com and... Um, if you type in here BTC USD, that's the um, what you need to type in to get Bitcoin. You can choose. I usually choose the top one or Coinbase. You just click that, and then you click full feature chart. It'll bring it right up. So this is Bitcoin. Now um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to explain how these pips uh, add up. I won't trade any pair unless I understand how the money works that's just me right I, I, I think it's a good principle to have because if you don't know how to determine your risk then you don't know uh, how to manage your account correctly so that's just a habit that I had it took me a, like I said it took me a while to understand this so you know uh, I stayed away from it but now that I understand it oh my goodness I'm about to blow your mind all right so look in Bitcoin every right one dollar every one dollar okay let's make this right here let's put this right here every one dollar movement right in btc usd equals 10 pips <laughs> yes you heard me correctly Every one dollar in movement on the BTC USD and Bitcoin it equals 10 pips right? or 10 pips, right? So one pip, okay, one pip equals 10 cents, right? In US dollars. All right, so this is this will this is where it can get a little bit confusing, all right. So when I say every one dollar in movement, right, I'm going to put a line right here and put this white line right here and I'll put this on 1200 even. OK, and I'll put another line. I put this yellow line on at, let's say, 12, uh, five, zero. Or that's not enough. Let's say twelve two hundred. Okay, twelve two hundred. 
So over here, if you look, 1,200, 12,200. So that's the dollar that I'm talking about right here. Every $1 movement in Bitcoin. So I'm talking about the actual movement of the chart. So what I want you to understand is 1,200 moving to 12,200, okay? 1,200 to 12,200, that would be $200 in movement. The market went moved two hundred dollars from twelve hundred to twelve, or excuse, from twelve thousand. I'm saying twelve hundred. <laughs> excuse me, y'all. From twelve thousand to twelve thousand two hundred. Right. If you subtract that, the answer is two hundred. That's two hundred dollars in movement on Bitcoin. Right. So every one of these dollars equals ten pips. Right. So in order to get the pip count. What I would have to do is take that 200 and multiply it by 10, and that would equal 2,000 pips, y'all. This right here is 2,000 pips, okay? Now, remember, I said one pip is equal to 10 cents in money, in money, right? So if I wanted to calculate, right, a 10 cent per pip trade, Right, I'll take 2,000 pips, multiply that by 10 cents. That would give me how much money I would have made on that one move. 2,000 pips times 10 cents per pip, that is a $200, $200 of profit. Right, that's two hundred dollars of profit, <laughs> right? From just that, right? That's that's why this is so crazy. So, so essentially, what I'm telling you, right? This is another way of saying this. Follow me, just follow me. Watch this. This is another way of saying what I just explained. Okay, watch this. So essentially, every one dollar in movement, every one dollar in movement on this pair, right, is equal to. One dollar. Because if one, if if one of these, if one pip equals ten cent U.S. dollar, one pip, right, and every one dollar is ten pips, right, then all I got to do is one times ten cents, and ten cents goes into one ten times. That's one dollar. So every dollar of movement on the chart is one U.S. dollar. Okay? Making this as clear as possible. So that's why this $200 in movement equals $200 in profit. It's the same thing. This is the long way. All right? I gave it to you the long way. So you have a good understanding, right, of how the money adds up. But the short way is to actually just look at it this way. Every, let me do this. Put it on the same line and move it over. So every $1 in movement equals $1 in earnings. That's what I need you to understand. So I don't, I don't for the rest of this video, I'm not going to refer to pips when talking about Bitcoin. Because it's easy to just look at this as a one-to-one -one move, right? A one-to-one -one move. Why? 
Because if this is $200 in movement and one pip is 10 cents, what did I do? I did $200 in movement times 10 pips to get the amount of pips, okay? And if I multiply the amount of pips by the money amount per pip, which is 10 cents, it gives me the dollar amount in profit. Now you might have to watch this part more than once to really understand it, but to keep it really, really simple, that's why it took me a long time to even get the confidence to trade this pair. To keep this really, really simple, just think of it like this. Every $1 in movement equals $1 in profit, right? If you are talking about the lowest lot size, a 0 0.01 when it comes to the charts, okay? So watch this, all right? You can take a picture of that, right, with your phone, take a screenshot, or if you're watching this on a laptop or a tablet, just go ahead and take a picture of that so you have it, all right, because I'm about to remove it and we're going to actually look at the charts, all right, and I'm going to show you how powerful what this means for you as a trader. This, this thing is powerful. I know the students that I have within my coaching program, right, once I explained this, they're all excited. We're all trading Bitcoin and making great money. You understand? So watch this. I'm going to remove everything, okay? And we're going to just look at the chart. Uh, if you had the wherewithal, right, a lot of people got scared, right, when Bitcoin hit, where is it, 20,000. You remember this? Back in 2017, every Bitcoin was the major craze. And what happened? It crashed. It came coming down. It came crashing down. A lot of people lost money. Right? And people got scared and said, I'm staying away from Bitcoin. Right? There was people mortgaging their houses and doing all kinds of crazy stuff to get Bitcoin. Right? Um, but here's the thing. With trading, it's real simple. You want to sell it when it's high. You want to buy when it's low. So you, if you had the wherewithal back in 2018 when it came all the way down to $3,000 per coin, okay, or even in this year, March 2020, when it was uh, around $4,000 a coin, what if you had the wherewithal to just go ahead and get some, right? And, and almost a year later, this thing went up 9,000. And this is a quick tip. I use my ruler to actually go from the bottom all the way to where the market is now, approximately, right? Where the market is now. This number right here that you see on your screen is the approximate uh, dollar amount of movement. And if you wanna just do the math for yourself, just so you're confident. All I'm gonna do is take this number here and subtract it from this number down here. And it'll give me a close approximation of this number right here. <coughs> Excuse me, of this number right here. So watch this. I'm gonna do 13,718 minus this number right here, 3893, 3893. That gives me 9,825. Well, what does that number say? Same thing, right? So you can actually use the ruler to get a really quick approximate um, amount of dollar movement on Bitcoin. But that's $9,825 of movement, which means if you would have had a, the lowest lot size on this trade, the minimum you could have made is $9,825, and all you had to do was get in and hold. That's it. Th that's the magnitude of the opportunity that you have with Bitcoin. And guess what, guys? Don't let anybody tell you or scare you away from trading it. It's still brand new. It's still a ground floor opportunity, even at $13,700 per coin. Right. With, when, when talking about buying and holding coins. Right. But I'm not talking about buying and holding coins. There's four different ways 
to actually be involved in Bitcoin. I'm not going to turn that into a video for this. Maybe I'll do a video on that later. But I'm right now, I'm just strictly talking about leveraging, trading Bitcoin to make money. Not buying Bitcoin. If you wanted to buy one Bitcoin, it would cost you $13,718 to get one whole Bitcoin, right? But you can obviously get fractions of Bitcoin, which is really wise to do, right? If you wanted to take $10 and get some Bitcoin, that would be very, very smart, right? But anyway, getting off topic, what I want you to understand is that's this is $9,825 that you could have made with just a 0 0.01 lot size on this trade, right? And, and if we take this even lower, let's go to the one, one hour time frame. Just a little itty bitty move like this, right? From here to here. So from this yellow line to this yellow line, just buying, right? That little itty bitty move over the course of how long? Let's say, Four days, $1,920 worth of movement. Ladies and gentlemen, on the lowest lot size, that's money. <coughs> Excuse me. Look, let's let's do the math just so you can understand. $13,227 minus 11307. That's one, like I said, 1920 right? <laughs> dollars worth of movement, which means that's $1,920 you could have made in four days. In four days. The magnitude of the, the opportunity we have with this pair is phenomenal. But this is, this is very dangerous to trade by yourself if you don't know what you're doing, right? I don't encourage somebody to get excited about what I'm saying and then without proper training and proper knowledge, go start a trade account and just start trying to do stuff. I don't suggest doing that. It doesn't, that would be like us putting a six year old in the driver's seat of a car and saying, hey, go to the, uh, the nearest store and buy me some milk and bring it back to me. It's very dangerous, right? You don't want to put a six-year-old behind the wheel of a car. Likewise, you're not skilled in this, right? Talking to the people who've never traded this before, I don't suggest you go trade this by yourself. Mentorship is very valuable, right? And if you want to be mentored and instructed and given the a very simple way to actually enter and exit the market consistently with profit, I have that for you. I have that for you, right? I have information on that. And I'll put it on the screen. I want you to go there, right? Go to that website, add yourself to the group. Uh, it's a Facebook group. Make sure you put that Charles Dyson referred you to the group. Take a look at the information in that group. You'll see other people that I coach personally, that I help make money from all over the world. I teach them my personal trading strategy, all right? And my per the cool thing about my strategy, it works with everything. It works with Forex. It works with Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. It works with uh, indices. It works with stocks. When you learn how to trade my strategy, you learn how to trade everything. It's an all-in-one. And it's very simple. It's so simple that children understand it. My kids know how to trade it. It's really simple. I taught it to my kids. So if I can teach my kids how to make money from a phone, I'm pretty sure I can teach you as well. Right. But like I said, um, get go to that group, get the information, see how everything works. And if you would like my mentorship, it would be my pleasure to work directly with you. But um, for all my experienced traders out there that just want to learn how to trade Bitcoin, I just gave or how to understand how to count the money and how the money adds up. I just gave it to you. Right. I just literally four or five days, almost. 1940 or so dollars worth of movement. I mean, the money that can be made, <coughs> excuse me, the money that can be made is staggering. If we just take this from here to here in a one day's time, $500 worth of movement in one day. This is not like 
Forex. It's nothing like this. It's nothing like Bitcoin. But like I said, it's dangerous. It does its own. It does what it wants to do. And you have to be, you got to be trained by somebody who understands uh, how to enter and exit the market with profit safely. Right. That's what this thing is about. Consistent profit. So um, definitely happy to give you guys this information. Uh, like this video. Share this with your friends. Right. Uh, definitely subscribe to this channel. I got more amazing content coming and click the bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos. Um, I'm always uploading valuable content. I'm never going to waste your time. I'm only going to upload when I have something very valuable to share. That's my promise to you. So I'm Mr. Kingdom Cash, Charles Dice. And make sure you go follow me and my wife over on Instagram. I'll put that on the screen as well, on the screen as well. And listen, check the description box of this video. I got other videos that are really valuable, great content that you would like. If you like this video, I know you'll like some of my other content. All right. Uh, love you guys. And I'm happy to serve. All right. I'll see you in the next video.